Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I just want to remind us how we can use the um, Google Finance function in a Google spreadsheet. So I've done a video on this topic before, and it's generated a few questions, and I just want to kind of get us all to an even starting uh, space for checking out all of the various attributes that we can use. So this is just going to touch on the very simple thing. So I've already got a Google spreadsheet open, so you definitely have to have that done. And let's see, let me go ahead and uh, select everything. And I've already got a nice big font, I think, Consulus, and 18 point font, so it should be nice and big, and we'll see how it goes. Now the way I'm gonna set this up, and this is a great way to start so you can experiment very, very easily, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the first couple of rows. So notice I'm just grabbing the um, column, I'm gonna get a little hand symbol there, and just grab that so that way you can keep going. Um, and then starting in A2, I'm gonna go ahead and put down my, this will be where I put in my stock symbol, and then I'll start to put in some labels off to the side. And we'll start off with something very, very simple, like the price. Okay, and I want to play around with a couple stocks. So uh, GameStop has certainly been uh, pretty exciting lately, and uh, I just checked it out, and that is GME. And I guess we'll also put in Google, and let's go ahead and put in TSLA for Tesla. Okay, so I've got the symbols over there, that's cool. I've got the price up there, great. Now to really get into experimenting with the Google Finance function, just go ahead and start off a function here, Google Finance, I'm gonna click that. And there's a lot of things you can do with this. It can be pretty overwhelming, but what I'm gonna click on is this little learn more option. That's gonna bring up, there we go. It's going to bring up the little cheat sheet for all the things we can do in here. Remember, this video is just going to touch on the basics. We'll just get it started, and then in other videos, we can experiment a little bit more deeply into some of these parameters. Okay, so, oops, let's go ahead and let me escape out of that for a moment. Now, what I envision using this for, so here in my row two, this is gonna be the, uh, the user-friendly labels for the various columns. And I'll put in something like price, and I'll go ahead and put in the um, open price, and the, okay. So these are gonna be the human-friendly labels right there. Just above it, I wanna put in the exact language that Google Finance expects for the attributes. So what I mean by that, is right there in row one and B1, I'm gonna put in literally price, all in lowercase letters, spelled exactly the way they want them spelled. And then I'll put in uh, price open, high, low, volume, and then uh, market cap. All lowercase, no spaces, cool. That's the way I wanna do that. And just as a note, these are basically my um, fields so that we can see that these are separate items. Let me go ahead and just select that top row and I'm going to make that font a different color, nice shade of uh, light green. Now once you're done with this, you might even hide that row so that you don't see it on a regular basis. This top row is only there to feed the information we want into the various functions. And I would like to write this function in a way so that I can easily copy Auto, auto fill it down, auto fill it to the side so that it works with any other rows and columns. So let's see how that might work. I'm gonna go ahead and write in, uh, so I'm here in B3 and this is my game stop price, equals Google Finance. Now, I'm gonna put in the ticker, but I don't wanna type it in by hand. I'm gonna click over on my cell A3 where the GME is, and then I can do a comma, and now I can put in my first attribute, which is gonna be the price. I'm gonna click on B1. All right, I think that's pretty good. And let's do that. Okay, so two, 229 bucks. I don't have the, uh, the, the quote up off to the side anywhere, but I've looked at it earlier and that seems pretty good. So that's probably the current price. Now these could be on a delay for several minutes, but if I were to go to Google, in fact, I guess I can do that right now. Let's just try this real quick. GameStop stock quote. There you go. So, according and of course I'm bring, I'm using Google here, so this should be the exact same. 229.9. That's on January 28th, 3:53 uh, p.m. When is it? The market closes at four, so it's just getting close to close price. Just changed to 231. So, now this is still the older price, but I bet if I were to copy and fill that down, is it going to update then? 
No, didn't update them. Now, by the way, it did upload my Google price. However, I don't want to do that quite yet because I need to make some modifications to this function. Let me do this real quick. So on my function, I know this is kind of tiny to look at, but I'm going to use my F4 key on my keyboard. And let's see, for the ticker symbol, I want the column to be absolute and the row to be relative. Yeah, I think so, because then I can copy it down. They're all going to be column A, and then the row number will change. Great. Now for the attribute, which is currently B1, I'm going to use my F4 key again, and I want that one to be, I want the row to be absolute, but I want the column to be relative. I know that seems weird, but this is going to make it so much easier when I copy and paste. So I'm going to press Enter. Nothing changes there. Now I should be able to autofill this down and get Google and Tesla. Um, I don't know those, but those look right to me. I know Google's share price is really high. Tesla share price is really high. So those look pretty darn accurate. Now here's where the magic is going to happen. I should be able to select all three of these, autofill them all the way across, and get all of the, the data for these other fields. Let me go ahead and resize the volume. The market cap is a dollar amount. So let's go ahead and make that into currency. I don't need the decimals though. Volume is going to be the number of shares. Um, that just needs to be a number, um, but I don't need decimals there. Excellent. So that's the start of what I wanted to show you, because now we can start to easily throw in uh, different symbols. I don't know. It's IBM. Is anybody still trading IBM? And then I should be able to take all of these, bring them down, and I'll get some IBM data. So that is the start of what I want to show you with Google Finance. And then later on, we can look at some of these other attributes to see how we can start to use these and see if I can't answer some of the questions I've been noticing in the comments. So thanks for hanging out with me. Take care.